Okay, I think I know. I think I might know what I what I can do to fix this. Just hold on, chat. Hey, she's back. And she thinks she knows what to do. Just bear with me. Real quick. While I reset all the things. Well, actually, first, let's just make sure the audio works. Like, let me try that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Settings, no, that's not what I want. Let's, where's the other setting? There it is. Audio. Let's... Cancel. Hide all. There should be in there's Elgato. There's Elgato. All right, chat, let me know. That did it. Does that sound good? All right. Thank Christ. Um, I might need to like double check to make sure everything else works, but I think I think we've got most everything orchestrated at the time for the time being. Um, shit, that. Sorry, chat. That was real stupid. Um. um Make sure these still work. They do not. Okay, I need to start voice mod over. Let's take a moment and blame Mango. Yes, let's do that. Refresh. And, oh wait, no, that was the wrong one. I had it right. I had it right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait. Yes, it's right. Okay. I'll put wavelength sound effects. Okay. Cool. Please work now. <laughs> okay, that seems to work. Timed out. <laughs> oh, Mango, don't be a jerk. <laughs> Uh, that was terrible. All right. Hide. 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 <laughs> I know, that was pretty bad. Hide. Hide. Okay, I think that is everything. We should be operational everywhere else. Will one of you try, like, some of the bot commands just to make sure those are working again? Just had to remind him by his powers. Cool. Emotional damage! Emotional damage! Okay. That's what I needed to see. Um, okay, let me do... With these powers comes great responsibility. That means a lot coming from you, Banner. All right, let me get this back up. I will, um, let 
me adjust. Let me see if I can adjust it from here. Commands. Phone group. Sound. Try that, Mango. See if that's a little better. Fellas. <laughs> Emotional damage! That's still pretty loud. Oh wait, I didn't save it. That was stupid. Okay, hold on. Saving. Now, let me try it. Emotional damage! Better? Still too loud? Should I tweak it a little more? I don't want to drop it too much because I think the point of it is to be like a little loud. Oops. Just a little lower. Okay. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! How's that? That's good. Okay. Alright, we will start over. Because <laughs> we got, like, nowhere. I don't think anybody could concentrate through the popping. Let me know if the game volume is, um, is okay. <laughs> yeah, it just needed to be separated from, um, the wavelength. For whatever reason, it doesn't want to... Look at all the views tonight. I know, it's a little weird, man. It's a little weird. Let's start it over for me. What was that all nope. about? Nope. I need to start it completely over. The Last of Us. New game. Easy. Yes. All right. After much delay, we are finally getting started. What is this? Let me turn some titles on because that's who I am as a person. Buckle in, chat. Tommy, listen to me. He is the contractor. He's the contractor, okay? I can't lose this job. I, I understand. Let, let's talk about this in the morning, okay? Let's, we'll talk about it in the morning. All right, good night. Hey. Scoot. Fun day at work, huh? What are you still doing up? It's late. Oh, God, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Honey, please not right now. I do not have the energy for this. Here. 
What's this? Your birthday. You kept complaining about your broken watch. So I uh, figured, you know. You like it? I think mean, this is... It's what? nice, but I... I think it's stuck. It's not... What? No, 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 no. Oh, ha, ha. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh, good. You started helping out with the mortgage then. Yeah, you wish. Uncle Tommy, what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something. Uh, Uncle Tommy? Hello? Second Street, she has eyes and ears everywhere. You guys are the that? worst. You guys are the worst. Hold on, real quick. Windowed. Need to close that. I forgot to open the stream avatars and Lumia stream. Get us up and running. I think we're good there. Connect. Yeah, Banner, we don't speak of the views. It stresses me out. Okay. There we go. All right, what kinds of goodies do we got here? Oh, dang it. I forgot to give this to him. Super rude. Oh, you're fine, Banner. Congratulations, you're not a fossil. Yet, happy birthday, dear dad. Let's see, you're never around. You hate the music I'm into. You practically despise the movies I like. And yet somehow you still manage to be the best dad every year. How do you do that? Happy birthday, Pops, Sarah. Or, love Sarah. What a sweet child. We learn a lot about her dad through just that little inkling. Joel is constantly busy with work. He's a typical dad. But she clearly loves him very much. She had a better bed than I did at her age. Phone line there. seems to be cut. Yawn. Oh, maybe that's my closet. I thought that was the door. Oopsie doopsie. Dad? Seems quiet. This bathroom, man. Admitted spikes at area hospitals. 300% increase due to mysterious infection. FDA expands list of contaminated crops. Massive recalls anticipated. The Food and Drug Administration's investigation of crops potentially tainted with mold continues across the country. Initial lists distributed to vendors nationwide warned against crops imported from South America, but now the scope is extended to include Central America and Mexico. Several companies have already voluntarily recalled their food products from store shelves. The FDA is expected to release an expanded list of foods under their, whatever, police. Crazed woman killed husband, three others. 
September 26, 2013. So that's the day. We know where we are in game. So there's a lot of... This is a great example of scene setting without... One of the things we're going to talk about a lot in this game is show versus tell. This game is telling you everything that you need to world to everything you need to know about this world without explicitly saying these are the things that are happening, but things that you can just naturally find in the setting. We've already found a newspaper. We see that the phone line is acting weird. Things seem especially quiet right now. So there's Daddy? something suspicious happening. Can I go downstairs? You in here? You seem to be somehow connected to the nationwide Where the pandemic. heck are you? We've received reports that victims afflicted with the infection show signs of increased aggression and... That's nearby. There seems to be some commotion coming from... Get the hell out of here! What was that? Oh, God. Dad? Everything you need to know about creating a startup. Well, we know what Joel was doing. All right, cable's out. Seems like he's an architect. Of sorts. Is that a gun? Oh no, it's just a... Dad? Uh, chat trigger warning, uh, or content warning from here on out. What's going on? He's a guitarist. There's his phone. Eight missed calls. Where the hell are you? Call me on my way. No signal. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Does anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors. Just just stand back there. Dad, you're kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. Some ain't ride with them. I, th I think they're sick. What kind of sick? <gasps> Jesus. Jimmy! Dad? Honey, come here. Come here. Understand me. Yeah. Tell me, come on. Come on. Where the hell have you been? You have any idea what's going on out there? I got some notion. Holy shit. You got blood all over you. Hey, mine. Let's just get out of here. This ain't half the people in the city lost their minds. Can we just please go? You throw a parasite or something. You gonna tell me what happened? Later. Hey, Sarah. How you holding up, honey? I'm fine. 
Can we hear us on the radio? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. No cell phone, no radio. Yeah, we're doing great. A minute ago, newsman wouldn't shut up. He said, where to go? He said, uh, Army's put up roadblocks on the highway. No getting into Travis County. We need to get the hell out. Take 71. 71, I swear. Did they say how many are dead? Probably a lot. We found this one family all mangled inside their Tommy's. house. Tommy's. Right. I'm sorry. How did this happen? They got no clue. But we ain't the only town. The first they're saying it's just the south. Now they're going on about the east coast, the west coast. Holy hell. That's Lewis's farm. I hope that some bitch made it up. Hello. For sure he did. Hello, system. Are we sick? No, of course not. How do you know? They said it's just uh, people Welcome. in the city. We're good. Didn't Jimmy work in the city? That's right, he did. We're fine, trust me. All right. Let's see what they need. What do you think you're doing? Keep driving. I got a kid, Joe. So do we. But we have room. Hey! Keep hey, driving, stop. Tommy. Stop! Let me see what I see. Someone else will come along. That's fucked. You should have helped him. Everyone and their mother had the same damn idea. We could just backtrack and... Hey, what the fuck, man? Let's go! Oh, shit. Tommy. Tommy! Holy shit! What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Did you see that? Yes, I saw it. God damn. Turn here, turn here. Come on, people, move! What are they running from? Get us out of here. I'm trying. I know. We can't stop here, Tommy. I can't fucking drive through them! Go! Back up there! They're behind me, too! There! They're there! Hold on! Go! Second chat. Cleaning up the scene a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm here, baby. I'm here. Come on, give me your hand. What is it? My leg hurts. How bad? It's bad. Better need to run. Keep us safe. Come on, baby. Now hold on tight. <coughs> Excuse me. This shit is crazy. Keep running! Don't look, Sarah. Keep 
looking at me, baby. Over there! We're gonna get out of this. Almost there, baby. They're getting through the fence. Keep going. Find your way out of here. Come on. Joe. Move it. Get to the highway. Go. You got Sarah. I can outrun them. I will meet you there. Hurry. Daddy, we can't leave him. He's going to be fine. We're almost there. For real, Josh. Warning, chat. It's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not sick. We've got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Daddy, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Move your hands, baby. I know, baby, I know. Listen to me, I know this hurts me. You're gonna be okay, baby, stay with me. All right, I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby, I know it hurts. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby, I know. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. No. No. No, 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 no. Please. Please. Please don't do this. Please. Yeah, I've played this game a million times, and that always... <clears throat> uh, that uh, scene always gets me just a smidge. Um, <clears throat> okay, um, there's a lot to unpack. Yeah, that always gets me. It's really um, intense. Um just a fun fact about that particular scene. Um, the actor who plays Joel, Troy Baker, um, and the little girl who played Sarah, who motion capped that scene, they did something like 20 or 30 takes, and they were all, you know, these very, like, loud, dramatic moments, and it was only on the last day, the very last take, where they switched things around and did this sort of quiet, um, you know, more more subtle, dramatic uh, death as opposed to like kind of the loud, boisterous one that they finally nailed the take. Um, 
the acting and cinematography. It's it's incredible. Um so yeah, it's that's a really traumatic start. Um, but there's there's something to point out here about um about what what we just witnessed. Um if you're not familiar with the term uh tropes or a trope in um uh in the arts, a trope is like a a common uh storytelling element or symbol or scene or phrase that anybody who is on the receiving end of that uh uh subject matter or element would recognize it immediately. So for example, if you see a man walking down the street and you see a banana peel in the middle of the street, we all know what's going to happen in that scene. That's a very common slapstick comedy trope. Um probably one of the most common tropes in in storytelling, in literature, in movies, is what's called the damsel in distress trope. And I think you can pretty much like determine what it is just from hearing it. But the basic concept is um, a male must rescue a female from imprisonment, from certain death, from some sort of danger, or uh, the male character is motivated or called to action um, or a major component of his character is revealed following the injury or death of a woman female in his life. So what we saw here is a very common trope, uh, Joel losing his daughter. And we don't really know what's to come yet, but the fact that this this story, this game is starting out with the very traumatic, awful death of a child tells us that that's really going to inform the character of Joel as we continue through the game. Um, there's a lot of criticism about this concept of the damsel in distress trope, that it's overused and that it's uh, unfair to women and that it demeans women. You can make a lot of arguments about that. And you wouldn't necessarily be wrong. Um, and that's uh, storytelling is, is changing in a lot of ways now that that's not the most common trope. But think about a lot of the games that you have played. A lot of storytelling games specifically. But, you know, what's the basic premise of, of the Mario games? Mario must save Peach. What's the basic premise of the Zelda games? Uh, Link must save Zelda. There's it's the same theme repeating itself over and over and over and over again. But what we're seeing here is a, a lesser used component of this trope, which is the death of a female character important to the male character at the onset of the game. This is going to be Joel's call to action. We've also witnessed uh, a trauma that basically uh, undermines Joel's identity up until this point. Joel until now has identified himself as a father, as a uh, um, architect, it seems, of, of sorts, a, a contracted architect, um, uh, just a, a, what appears just to be a single father, you know, working a job, making ends meet, raising a daughter in Texas. And uh, that in the matter uh, in a matter of minutes has been completely stripped. So Joel's identity and everything that Joel was is now no more. So now Joel must reinvent himself in this apocalyptic environment where people have started to degrade into these man-eating monsters. So it's going to be interesting to see how this story develops and how Joel has evolved or what, what we experience from Joel uh, in the coming uh, uh, chapters of this story. Number of confirmed deaths has passed 200. The governor has called a state of emergency. For hundreds and hundreds of bodies lying in the streets. Thanks, Panic Banner. Spread worldwide after a leaked report from the World Health Organization showed that the latest vaccination tests have failed. With the bureaucrats out of power, we can finally take the necessary steps. Los Angeles is now the latest city to be placed under martial law. All residents are required to report to their designated foreign Riots have continued for a third consecutive day, and winter rations are at an all-time low. 
A group calling themselves the Fireflies have claimed responsibility for both attacks. Their public charter calls for the return of all branches of government. Demonstrations broke out following the execution of six more alleged Fireflies. You can still rise with us. Remember when you're lost in the darkness? Look for the light. Believe in the Fireflies. Welcome to The Last of Us chat. I'm coming. How was your morning? Want one? No, I don't want one. Well, I have some interesting news for you. Where were you, Tess? West End District. Hey, we had a drop to make. We. We had a drop to make. Well, you wanted to be left alone, remember? So I'll take one guess. The uh, whole deal went south and the client made off with our pills. Is that about <laughs> right? Deal went off without a hitch. Enough ration cards to last us a couple of months. Easy. You want to explain this? I was on my way back here and I got jumped by these two assholes, all right? And yeah, they got a few good hits in, but... Look, I managed. Give me that. Are these assholes still with us? Well, that's funny. At least find out who they were. Yeah, look, they were a couple of nobodies. They don't matter. What matters is that Robert fucking sent them. Our Robert. He knows that we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. That son of a bitch is smart. <laughs> He's not smart enough. I know where he's hiding. Like hell you do. Old warehouse in Area 5. Can't say for how long, though. Well, I'm ready now, yeah? Oh, I can do now. The intensity from the entire sequence is chef's kiss. Everyone is holding their breath in their seats until the scene with Sarah ends. Yeah, it's so tense. You can cut that tension with a knife. All right, we're going to hang out now in the quarantine zone of Boston. Only got a few hours left until curfew. Well, we better hurry up then. Wait, are you serious? I got served the damn papers this morning. I've been selected for outside work duty. Oh, that's such crap. The soldiers are supposed to handle the outside. I'll make sure to tell them that. What about you, Joel? You been summoned for this bullshit yet? Nope. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. 20 years have passed. We see that Joel is involved in some suggestive activities. didn't turn into a hooker, so it's not all that bad. Not that we know of. How much longer? Lady, when the rations arrive, we'll open the door, all right? I hear it's another half ration week. Are you fucking kidding me? That's three weeks in a row now. Well, what are you gonna do? This is such fucking bullshit. I bet those uniforms over there, they don't get half rations. Keep your voice down. What's wrong with you? Whatever, I don't even care anymore. Let them take me. Just be quiet. Hands on your fucking head. Do it. I 
Hold her Mom, down. Do it. Please. Eyes forward. All right. She's down. Fuck <laughs> this! Oh, shit. Shut up. Consider yourself lucky. What happens when you hide out in a condemned building? Call the cleanup crew. We're through here. Gonna need two bags and two more for the box. All right, people, this isn't a show. Keep moving along. Yes, wow. Sir. We'll stay put. They're on their way. Shouldn't be long. Y'all. It's a little uh, too relevant for me. Seems like more people are getting infected. That just means more people are sneaking out. Couldn't give us any yeah. static up there. Way I heard it, they lined them up cool. in the street and cut them up. <laughs> Retribution and shit. We ever lose control of this place to the stragglers, that's what'll happen to us. That would never go down here. Any straggler even looks at me the wrong way, I put his ass down. I'm sure that's what they thought at every other QZ before riots broke out. It's those goddamn fireflies. They keep stirring the population up. We put an end to them. That's how you solve this shit. We agree on that. Alright. Drive on through. <laughs> See you later. There you go. What's your business here? Got the day off. Visiting a friend. All right. Move on through. Thanks. for the easy route. Patch yourself Whoop. up, all right? Find up your wounds with a health kit. Using a health kit takes time. Make sure you're in a safe place. Okay. They're gonna close all the checkpoints. We're gonna have to go around the outside. Outside the wall. Or we could just let Robert go. Cute. Hey Tess, you see that shit? I was there. Hey, how's the East Tunnel looking? It's clear. I just used it. No patrols. And where are you off to? Gonna pay Robert a visit. You too? Who else is looking for him? Uh, Marlene. She's been asking around, trying to find him. Marlene? What do the Fireflies need with Robert? <laughs> you think she'd tell me? Well, what did you tell her? The truth. I got no idea where he's hiding. Good man. Hey, you stay out of trouble, all right? Military's gonna be out in force soon. Yeah, see you around. Marlene looking for Robert? What do you make of that? I don't like it. We better find him before the fireflies do. us. Hey guys, how's it going? <sighs> Shit's stirring up out there. How are we looking over here? Uh, it's been quiet. No signs of military or infected. That's what I like to hear. Joel, give me a hand with this. Okie dokie. Take it easy out there. Oh, God, this place reeks. I need to watch what they throw away down here. Let there be light. It's around here. We're down here. Oh, yeah, it looks nasty.
Our backpacks are still here from last time. Cool. Yeah, not a lot of ammo. Mm, make the shots count. All right, Texas. Boost me up. Okie dokie. Well, come here, bitch. I'll boost you up. Want to boost me up? Yes, I'm trying to boost you up. Let's go. Jeez. You ready? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on. Question. <laughs> Ain't been out here in a while. It's like we're on a date. Well, I am the romantic type. You got your ways. Where's the ladder? Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, where, oh, where has my ladder gone? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? Hey, try over there. Oh, look at you, Tess. Got it. Great, bring it over. first. <laughs> Lady, you must be thinking of someone else. <laughs> it's all relative. This way. <clears throat> Down through here. You think Robert's still got our guns? For his sake, he better. Look, once we get our merchandise back, it should be easy to unload. Well, speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment due? Well, we're meeting Bill next month. More pills, lots of ammo, supposedly. Hold up, spores. Spores, okay, so we know this is the shit that makes you sick. these coming from the place was clear last time they're coming out of something stay alert okay crouch Ooh, wait had a... there's our culprit body's not that old better keep your eyes and ears open Whoa. So these, it's mushrooms. So it's like a, it's a fungal infection. Wow. 
What a way to go. I should be able to fit through here. You okay? Yeah. Damn ceiling's falling apart. Be careful. This way. Easy. Watch it, watch it. Help me. My mask broke. Don't, don't leave me to turn. Please. What do you want to do? Poor guy. So these are the stakes of the world. I want to just point that out. These are the stakes of the world that we're in. There's no cure for this this infection. So if you're infected, you're going to turn. If you turn, you lose yourself. He's dead anyway. So what we're doing here is providing a, a, a mercy, so to speak. Olivia, hello! I am so glad that you are here. Welcome! We uh, aren't very far in. Because the stream was kind of broken and it took a while to fix, but we're we're operational now. Anyway, I'm gonna put this poor guy out of his misery. Poor guy. Poor bastard. I did not enjoy doing that. How do I pick that up? That was not fun. Oh, man. After all this time, I'm still so impressed by, like, the level of detail that they put into this. Home of evil. Hmm. Okay, that's where we came from, so... Head back into the city. Will you be streaming the second game again as well for the series? No, I will not be streaming the second game. We'll talk about the second game um, when we finish the first game. 
and I will explain myself. But um, also, just as a heads up, Olivia, this is a blind run, so we're gonna we're playing it as if I've never played this before. Um, but I will explain uh, the reasons that I'm not going to be playing two uh, once we finish one. I guess that's all that's in here. Go! Oh! Darkest rain. Thank you so much for that resub, my my friend. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. How are you? I'm happy you're here. How is it going, sir? Excited for the blind run. <laughs> yeah. Me too. It's kind of fun playing this, uh, you know, appreciating it blind. <sighs> Some fresh air. That's the one thing I love about it. Happy New Year to you. I fucking hate the smell of the city. Why don't you ask Bill to get you some of them air fresheners? Hey, if they weren't expired, that'd be a good idea. How are you doing, dude? How was your, uh, holiday? God, this game is gorgeous. <clears throat> Gotta say, though, I'm not used to something that isn't, uh, <laughs> like, 120 frames per second. I think that's just where I came from. Too. And his name is John C. Oh! <sighs> ah, I forgot I had that. <sighs> it scared me too. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Um. <laughs> Let them catch my boria. Oh, there we go. We're here. Okay. I got it. This play shouldn't so I haven't played The Last of Us, but someone had cut it into a three-hour movie that I've seen about three times now. It's such a compelling story. Yeah, there are some uh, great um, uh, cutscene uh, like compilations of it that, that do a beautiful job telling the story without um, needing to play through the game. I'll get it. But uh, if you want to be here to just appreciate the game and the story um, and me talking about it or just joining the conversation, real happy to have you. We're just here having some fun. Well, as much fun as you can have with a deeply traumatic and horrendously sad game. Um... Okay, I need to find something to... Bridge the gap. But what do we use? That is the question. Hey, can you hear me that plank? Appreciate that, Darkest Rain. Oh, that's... Oopsie doopsie. Ow. I'm okay. I'm sure you were wondering, chat. Here, pass it to me. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, it's a bit heavy. I think I can handle it. All right. Show's gonna be great too. Here. Let's move. Bossy today. I'm getting close. Oh, classes, huh? Nice. What are you taking? Make sure there ain't any soldiers around. It's clear. Come on. Sass bitch. Hey, little man. Make sure the coast is clear. No soldiers, none of Robert's men, yeah? expecting us. Well, that'll make it more interesting. <laughs> Good to go. Come on. God, she even pays kids to do her dirty work. <laughs> hey, lady, how you doing today? I heard you Not right now, Terrence. No, 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 it's, it's good. Look, Not I got the car. now, you hear me? Okay. You can do that. You get all huffy puffy about it. Ugh. If you ain't got ration cards, don't even waste my time. I'm not interested in bartering for bullets. Hurry up. We're starving. Keep your shirt on. Next batch coming right up. Hey, don't even think about cutting in line. Fucking A. I'm waiting on this rat forever. The rats. Technical writing, analog circuits, digital electronics, microcontrollers. Dang, dude! That's dope, though. Good for you. Chat, this is what world building is. And all of this can be missed so easily if you just walk on through it and don't pay attention. Fifteen tickets each. Sorry, man. These dogs are all accounted for. Sold out in less than an hour. Try me next week. So sad. Touch it, you buy it. Sass, it's been a while. You don't visit us anymore. Who the hell is that? None of your damn business. Damn. mark of a good game though the world is there whether you experience it on purpose or just subconsciously the player feels it when the world is empty that is true 
Excuse me. Oh, fine. Screw you then. Oh, damn. Knock his ass clean out. Where do you think you're going? Malik, sit back oh, down. Oh, sorry, Tess. Didn't realize you two were together. Go ahead. Who's that? An old headache. Don't ask. Ooh. You look dangerous. The guy's been hoarding all sorts of shit in the factory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on. I'm looking for Robert. You come through here? Half hour ago. He went back to the wharf. He's there now. Let us through. You guys need to turn around and head back if you know what's good for you. Our beef isn't with you. We just want Robert. You don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck this. Take cover! <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That is a woman who gives no fucks. I'll cover you. Get the angle on them. Good world exists outside of the main character. The elements that matter are how does the character's choices impact the world, which insinuates that the character is a part of something bigger. Yes. We're seeing this world expand, but we only see it through Joel's perspective. Still alive. Now you're not. Nicely done, Texas. Me too. How the hell did he get all these guys? If Robert's good at one thing, it's writing blank checks. Let's go put an end to that. Wow, you all are shooting me and then none of you had ammo? That was rude. We're going what did this? Hey, who's not? What did the Zen Buddha say to the hot dog vendor? Make me one with every. the road to 100k channel point it's so hard not to use <laughs> oh yeah i need to make that channel point i will make it i promise oh fuck you shouldn't have told me that one got you to laugh yeah that one made me laugh that one was actually really funny oh sorry tess all right well oh jeez I just realized I gotta check something. Make sure our my hand. Okay, everything seems to still work. Cool. <laughs> really, you're able to hold him one-handed. He probably he weighs at least two hundred pounds. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what humans weigh. Over here, Joel. <clears throat> More Robert's guys. 
How do you know they're coming? Two of our guys died trying to take Tess out. I guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here right now to get Robert. Jesus. We shouldn't have taken this job. Not our call. Let's spread There's out and make sure no one's creeping around in here. Okay. <laughs> Damn, Tess. Move up. Move up. You did it. Taking your sweet ass time. All right. Let's search the area. Why? I got a key. Health. I like that. Health is good. South Warehouse. Supplies are locked up. Good. Let's do another once over and then head out. It's getting close to curfew. What about Robert? Who's he holding up with tonight? The guy's too paranoid to stay here by himself. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with something. Okay. <laughs> you hear that? Be careful. This is such a cool, like, mechanic. I love this. You guys just gonna stand there and stare at each other? Like... Put your gun in the Bitch, take your hands off it! Let's just be cool, man. Take it easy. We should have brought more people. They just slow us down. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Sure. Come on. They in love. Made him go night night. <laughs> You think they're in love? What makes you say that, system? I'm definitely curious. Like you are gonna kiss? Hello, spicy. What's up, bruh? System, system and spicy, have either of you guys played this game? Those two... Dude, it's staring at each other. Oh, you never played it. Okay. Well, you're in for a treat with this one. 
Even though you got here at the beginning of, like, all the trauma. <laughs> our boy. <laughs> that cocky son of a bitch. Because the first scene really messed with me. Oh, yeah. Don't feel obligated um, to watch uh, Spicy if, if it's... Yeah, well, we lost our contacts in the north. Uh, our if contacts it's something that, that might be yeah, um, know, upsetting. Definitely don't want to make you feel like you know, you know, uncomfortable by any means. Well, that being said, I will, of course, let you know before anything of, uh, relative, uh, uh, intensity starts coming up. It was beginning with his daughter that really got me. It, it gets me too, dude. Like, every time- I've played this game so many times, and I've never quite gotten used to that scene. Like, I choked up even just now playing through it. It's really difficult. I can't imagine having kids feeling and, and experiencing it. It is an amazing game, but it, it definitely hits hits you where it hurts. Wish I wasn't such a bot. I have no idea of anything else because I didn't look too much into it. Well, um, there's nothing... If it, if it makes you feel better, there's nothing else that comes up that's really... Um, ah! I'm getting down. There's nothing else that comes up that's really... Um, oh, shit. Like traumatizing, like death of children status. So, like, you can be, you can safely hang out knowing that, like, we aren't going to see anything in that vein um, again. No more dying daughters. Some gang gang shit there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Shit. All right, did we get everyone? Everybody sufficiently dead? Anyone else I need to kill? Y'all gave me an ouchie. Sorry, Tess, coming. That office. Robert must have run in there. Let's go. Okie doke. Go back in the fuck back! We just want to talk, Robert. We ain't got fucking nothing to talk about. Put your gun down. Go fuck yourself! He's running! Jeez. Robert! Joel, this way! We almost got him! I guess I went the wrong way. 
Joel, this way. Where? Oh. Joel. He's right there. Come on. Oh, hello, Robert. <laughs> Tess. Joel. No hard feelings, right? None at all. All right. God damn it! We missed you. Look, whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I just want to the say... The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? Yeah, sure, but it's complicated. All right. hmm. Look, all right, just hear me out on this. I got to... Fuck! Fuck! Stop! 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 Oh, Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold them. Excuse me. I didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. I say you bet on the wrong horse. I just need more time. Just, uh, give me a week. You know, I might have done that if you hadn't tried to fucking kill me. Oh, come on, it won't. Who like has that. our guns? I can't. You can just give me a couple of things. Who has our guns? It's the fireflies. I owe the fireflies. Mm. What? Look, they're basically all dead. We can just, just go in there, finish them off. We get the guns. What do you say? Come on. Yeah, fuck those fireflies. Let's go get them. That is a stupid idea. Well, now what? We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. Look, let's, let's go find a firefly. We won't have to look very far. Go. Queen Firefly. Why are you here? She really is. <laughs> you aren't looking so hot. Where's Robert? <laughs> I needed him alive. The guns he gave you, they weren't his to sell. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. How many cards are we talking about? <sighs> I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that, I'll give you your guns back. And then some. How do I know you got them? Well, I hear the military's been wiping you guys out. Right about that. I'll show you the weapons. Yes, sir. I gotta move. What's it gonna be? I wanna see those guns. Follow me. All right. We're moving. Well, let's see what we have here. The uh, dad jokes. I cut my finger chopping cheese, but I think I may have. <laughs> What did the hat say to the scarf? You can hang around. around. I'll just go on. <laughs> that is an absolute dad joke. That's just... You gotta get out of here. Now. You want this deal? We gotta move. We're here. I know a way around this. Come on. So, the Fireflies are a rebel organization that's basically pushing back against the U.S. military that has been, um, th ha that has been running martial law in the United States for the last 20 years since this apocalypse happened. This is just a little backstory. Um, Marlene's the leader of this, uh, of this splinter group. 
they're like a, they're basically a fully armed military. Holy shit. Is that your people? What's left of them? Why do you think I'm turning to you guys? This way. So why now? We've been quiet. Did the dad joke stream command in your Discord? Is this dad joke instead of a dad joke? Oh, okay. Thanks. Looks like they did. We're trying to defend ourselves. And the story and history is so impressive. Seriously. I thought it was dad jokes. They, they are hilarious. Hey, congratulations, Mango, on winning the jump game, as always. Hey, are you holding up? I'll live. Hold up. Soldiers. That's the way out. The door under the bridge. I ain't a big fan of these eyes. We can sneak by them, even though I know that's not your style. We'll see how it goes. Let's get moving. We need to get to that door. Okay, that's where we need to go. Waits Go for no one, private. Whatever. What software do I use? This is a this is a um uh capture card, Olivia. I'm this is on my PS5. Um, I'm using an Elgato um capture card. I use OBS um, on my PC. Um, I use OBS to actually stream. I use a tool called Mix It Up, which makes all the fun channel commands. Uh, yeah, do you are you using OBS, uh, Olivia? What are you using to stream? Oh yeah, okay. So you're about to definitely use um, uh, OBS. Don't use Streamlabs. They are. Uh, very crummy organization. They do trash things. And it's not too hard to set up. Let me know, Olivia, if you want to, like, set up some time, like, on a weekend or something when you're free. Um, and I'm happy to, like, walk you through it. But it's really easy. It's, it's very similar to what to, to Streamlabs in terms of setup. It's just slightly more involved. Claire showed me how to import my stuff over. Yeah, and I can show you how to do that too. It is very, very easy. crouching walking around like they gotta take a big shit. Damn it, Spicy. You're ruining the mood. Bah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. How did that guy not... How did that guy... How did he not hear what nice. happened? He heard none of that. What the frick was that? That was so alarming. He had his earpods in. 
Ooh, completely unrelated. I want to show you guys the cool shit that I had set up. So when you do cool stuff, like when you guys like resub and do nice things for the stream, ooh, we're gonna hide right here. I can go like, let's say that like Spicy did something nice. So we're gonna be like, hey, Spicy, thank you for the sub. And we'll do this nice shout out. Much further now. Measuringshafts.com. And it'll do a very nice shout out. Merch store? Measure your shaft. Even gives you a clip. Oh, yeah, because everybody can have nuts in their mouth, right? I wish I knew what you were talking about, though. Go on, Or Olivia. Where are we going, Marlene? This way. It's not far now. How are you holding up? I'm running on fumes. I'll make it. The place is right up ahead. Attention. Curfew is now in full effect. Anyone oh. caught outside without proper authorization will be arrested and prosecuted. The hell are we smuggling? I'll show you. Joel, give me a hand with That's this. how it went. <laughs> Whoa. Come on now. Get on up. Fuck away from hey. her. Let her go. Well, you're recruiting kind of young, aren't you? She's not one of mine. Oh, shit. What happened? Don't worry, this is fixable. I got his help. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. Hey, we're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. That's not exactly close. You're capable. You hand her off, come back, the weapons are yours. Double what Robert sold me. Speaking of which, where are they? Back in our camp. We're not smuggling shit until I see them. You'll follow me. You can verify the weapons. I can get patched up. But she's not crossing to that part of town. I want Joel to watch over her. Whoa, whoa I don't Bullshit, think that's the I'm best Ellie. Him? How do you know them? I was close with his brother, Tommy. Said if I was ever in a jam, I could rely on him. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you too. He was a good man. I could just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Well, now we know. Just cargo, Joel. Now we know where Tommy was. No more talking. You'll be fine. <sighs> now go with him. Don't take long. And you, stay close. Let's go. Tess said something really interesting there. We should take a minute to um, dig into this a little bit. The immediate adverse reaction that Joel had and that Ellie had is indicative of a wider issue in terms of how we look at other people. There is a complete lack of trust in this world. Ellie has no reason to trust Joel. Um, Joel has no reason to really trust Marlene. 
but he's in desperate. He and Tess are in desperate straits. They need these guns. They have this underworld organization that they need to ensure continues to move so that they can survive. Because clearly survival in the quarantine zone is not really all it's cracked up to be. Um, and then Tess says something really interesting. It's, she says she's, it's just cargo. Doesn't say she's cargo, says it's just cargo. So if we um, strip Ellie of her identity, if we objectify her, if we just see her as an object, as, as a means to an end, a project, a job, then it makes the job easier. We don't have to worry about if she's happy, if she's contented, if she's fed or whatever. We just go through and we do what we need to do. That is what has gotten Joel this far. That is what has gotten Tess this far. That's what got what has gotten Marlene this far. It's a cruel world that these characters are living in, but that is what the cost of survival is. You can't care um, too deeply in this in this place. We'll see, we'll see why as, as the story evolves. Well, I heard all the shooting, but what happened? Fireflies. Same thing's gonna happen to us if we don't get off the street. You're the pro. I'm just following you. Alright, we're going. I would also like a big sloppy kiss for Marley right now, but she doesn't really, she doesn't really kiss. Like some shady shit over there. Down here. Don't keep up. Attention. Harboring or aiding one criminal is punishable by death. Do not place yourself at risk. Lecture, come on. I feel like I'm not very good at analyzing deeper into the games in the moments of having you explain that was very eye opening. Of course, where are we going? Up there, that'll get us to the north tunnel. How are we supposed to reach that? Just give me a minute. Yeah, and I'm really enjoying doing this, uh, Olivia. I'm actually also record like keeping all of these recordings. I have every recording. <laughs> Um, like full recording of the Red Dead lecture series uh, where I did the same thing. So um, I think in the long run, like, you know, if and when I do Jan term again, I can I can use this as a as a teaching component. The best game, Drew. Okay, I think we want to go up here. Building out a library of teaching games. Exactly. This tunnel, can you use it to smuggle things? Yep. Like illegal things? Sometimes. You ever smuggle a kid before? No, that's a first. What's the deal with you and Marlene anyways? I don't know. She's my friend, I guess. Your friend, huh? You're friends with the leader of the Fireflies. What are you, like, 12? She knew my mom, and she's been looking after me. And I'm 14, not that that has anything to do with anything. So where are your parents? 
where are anyone's parents? They've been gone a long, long time. So instead of just staying in school, you decide to run up and join the Fireflies, is that it? Look, I'm not supposed to tell you why you're smuggling me, if that's what you're getting at. You don't know the best thing about my job. I don't gotta know why. To be honest with you, I give two shits what you're up to. Well, great. Good. Uh, yes, Olivia, I am uh, planning on Bioshock Infinite. I don't know when in the cycle I'm going to do it, but it's definitely on the list. Is it? <sighs> what are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I am sure you will figure that out. Your watch is broken. What we're seeing from Joel in his interactions with Ellie is not cruelty. It's a trauma response. Joel lost his daughter in a violent manner that, and it's readily apparent he was not able to protect her when he should have when he or when he feels like he should have he says to ellie what are you like 12 that was sarah's age it's not an accident that he identifies her as 12 she's still roughly around the same age as his daughter was so there is no question to me that joel is projecting onto ellie uh, people have different responses to this kind of trauma. I don't want to get too much into the psychology of it, um, since that's not my forte. But um, I know from from personal experience with with trauma there that there are two major ways that that people react, especially to this type of trauma. They will either try to um, uh clamor and sort of regain what was lost so in this example you would potentially see joel you know immediately seeking an opportunity to try and be a father figure again make up for past mistakes or there are those who pull back from the thing that is indicative of the trauma which is to say that it, which is what joel is doing right now which is push back away from the thing don't associate with the thing because as long as I don't associate with the thing or acknowledge the thing that is directly related to the traumatic experience that I had, then I cannot relive that trauma. He gets into the room, he lays down, he closes his eyes, he won't even look at her. He does not acknowledge her presence. He will not talk to her. She says, what am I supposed to do? He says, you will figure it out. He won't even engage with her as a person. That's entirely a trauma response. Joel does not want to relive losing Sarah. He does not want to allow himself to become once again a protector, a father figure to somebody else, especially a child that is roughly the same age as his daughter was. It's it's very poignant. And at first glance, you can look at it and think like, wow, why is Joel being such a fucking asshole? He's not being an asshole for the sake of being an asshole. He's being an asshole because he wants to avoid feeling the same thing that happened to him 20 years ago. We see right now a very cold, hardened shell of a man who has no doubt repressed this experience of losing Sarah and just projects all of that negative, foul energy back out into the world. The Joel that we saw at the beginning of the game is virtually dead. What we see now is just is just a shadow of who he was. Who probably doesn't even have the identity of father anymore on his resume. Poor Joel, he really has it rough. 
He's trying to protect his feelings by acting like an act. Exactly. He is protecting his feelings and pushing himself away from that perspective identity of father figure, protector, caregiver, whatever it is that you want to call it. This is Joel protecting himself. It is a 100% a trauma response. This is not just assholery. I want to make sure that that's just clear right off the rip. Jeez, I don't know where the pee. No, I, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Where did the sound go? Oh, I'm in the, because I'm in the wrong. Oops. Yeah, me too. Trauma and not assholery. Got it. Thanks, Mango. You know, I've never been this close to the outside. Look how dark it is. Can't be any worse out there. Can it? What on earth do the fireflies want with you? Hey, sorry it took so long. Saw it again. Sorry, fucking everywhere. How's Merlin? Run acknowledge. She'll make it. Gotta sell the merchandise. It's a lot. Wanna do this? Yeah. Let's go. It's a bit strange that they're having us do their smuggling. Marlene wanted to do it herself. We weren't their first choice. Or the second, for that matter. <laughs> She's lost a lot of men. Beggars can't be choosers. You know, let's just hope there's someone alive to pay us. Someone will be around. All right, chat. That's where we're going to leave it tonight. That's a lot. Um, but I thought I think that was a really, really awesome start to the game and to the story. Um, Joel is a broken man. Tess is a badass, but also in a lot of her own ways, broken. Um, and Ellie represents something that Joel is not willing to uh, confront 20 years after the loss of Sarah. And now we need to smuggle her out of the quarantine zone to the Capitol um, so that she can make it to the Fireflies for whatever purpose that they have with her. Um, yeah, I was I'm glad I was able to to work the the audio thing out, too. Um, just running it separately seems to do the trick. And I think that that's just what we're going to have to do. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Um, thanks guys for being here. I really hope you enjoyed, uh, part one of the last of us lecture series. Uh, this will definitely not be as long as, uh, previous or as our previous playthrough of, uh, Red Dead 2. Um, we'll be back Thursday to continue the story. Hopefully not with a 45 minute delay of me trying to figure out, uh, all the sound shit and, uh, we can get back to, uh, all the fun things associated with uh with the last of us now let's see who is online for us to raid um i'd like to share the love it's been a while since i've raided someone raid oh uh scarface is playing red dead redemption 2 um, guys, go say hello. Uh, let's go say hello to, um, uh, Scarface, uh, one of the, uh, prevailing experts on, uh, Red Dead, who actually has some ins with Rockstar. 
a uh, friend of the stream started hanging out with us during the um uh during the Red Dead lecture series. He plays online uh and he's just a a crazy badass motherfucker. So please go give him some love. Uh tell him that Claire sent you. Amiko and Nari. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the discipleship. I hope you enjoy your stay. You're getting here just as we end the stream. Um, but I hope to see you around for our uh, part two of The Last of Us, um, which will be on Thursday, same time, 8 p.m. Uh, so go say hello to um, Scarface for me. Uh, tell him uh, the professor sent you. You guys have a wonderful evening. And as I always tell you, be safe, wear a mask and stay sexy. Good night, guys. See you Thursday. It is what it is.